What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Demon Slayer episode 22. This one's called Master of the Mansion. So I guess this is the guy in charge of all the Demon Slayers is what I'm assuming. We're going to meet this guy. Pretty excited about it. He has to be super, super cool. Like I imagine if Muzan is the master of the demons, I feel like he got someone similar on the Demon Slayer side. Could be wrong. I think he, he might have psychic powers. I don't know. On the last episode, we saw the ending of the Mount Nanagumo arc. We started off diving into Rui's backstory, which was pretty tragic, I'll be honest. But I mean, it's just like, he was so messed up. It's hard to feel bad for him. Then right after that backstory, everything seems like it's gonna start slowing down. And then the other Hashira, Shinobu, she shows up and starts trying to get at Nezuko. And Giyu remembered Nezuko and Tanjiro, and he's like protecting them, which honestly, if he wouldn't have done that, Nezuko would have been gone. There's no chance Tanjiro could have saved her or done anything at that point. He was so beat up. And plus, Shinobu is probably just way better than Tanjiro at this point. Like, Tanjiro's cool and all, but she's a Hishira. Like, she probably has a lot more knowledge and is just way better in general. We saw. Zenitsu all bandaged up. He's looking better. We saw Nasuke get carried down the mountain. He's really low in spirits right now. He needs a self-esteem boost. He needs to get some wins. Hopefully once he gets healed up they can go on an adventure together again and then he can get some really good wins and start feeling better about himself. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. When Tandro woke up at the end of the last episode he was surrounded by Hashiras and I don't know what that entails. Maybe they're also going to be like, hey, you're cool. We saw what you've been doing. Like, give them some props. But I doubt that's what's going to happen. Um, I've definitely, I feel like I've seen the guy, that's the blonde guy with the long flowing yellow hair. I feel like I've seen him. It might have been in promos. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see these new people, see how they tie into the story. And hopefully we got some good fight scenes coming up. Someone said in the comments, like, we got some good fight scenes. So I'm excited to see that. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you do, and let's get right into the video. Ooh. Oh, he's going on trial. She gets it, whoever that is. It's Giyu. Giyu's probably in trouble for helping him. He doesn't know about Hashira, it's like the top group yet. That one guy is freakishly tall. The way Shinobu talks is just like so sweet sounding, but it's also so creepy. <laughs> it just like creeps me out, I don't know why. Master of the Mansion. I'm excited to see this dude. <laughs> this guy's standing with this. He's got so many veins in his arms. Oh. He's just gone for the beheading. Please don't. This guy likes flamboyance. Stone Hashira? So they each have their own skill set. Miss huh. Hashira? She's not even thinking about the trial. <laughs> The nine eyes Franken. There's only six of them. Where even is he? Oh, he's just right there. He said people didn't like him, so maybe that's true. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, hear him out. Just let him tell a story and you'll understand. This is your chance, dude. Just tell him. Got dry mouth. Probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does have dry mouth. He needs some water.俺が家を留守にしている時に襲われ、帰したらみんな死んでいて、そう、そう食ったことはないんです。今までもこれからも早くこの哀れな子供を殺して解き放つだけよ。聞いてください。根津子が鬼になったのは逃げ以上前のこと
証明ができない。人を襲うということもまた証明ができない。Yeah, you can't prove it either way. 連続が2年以上もの間、人を食わずにいるという事実があり、否定する側もそれ以上のものを差し出さなければならない。この炭治郎は器物師と遭遇している。そんなまさか諦めたら誰も接触したことがない。They know that he's actually been in contact with Muzan himself. マリコ、器物師は何をしている？飯のは突き止めたのか？追い答えろ。黙れ。俺がまず器物師の。How does this guy know? This guy has to have like psychic powers. I really like this guy. I'm sure it's like the key. I'm sure it's 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 the key. I'm sure Nezuko's not gonna eat you, bro. She probably is just thinking that smells bad. Why are you torturing her? She's been through enough. <laughs> I get what he's doing. Yeah, just completely prove it. Completely prove it. That she won't eat you. Because she's not gonna. Why are you stabbing her? She didn't do anything. You're. You... Why does he keep stabbing her? <laughs> I hate this. <sighs> oh. She can't heal like other demons because she doesn't eat people, and you're just gonna stab her repeatedly. You already know Nezuko's not gonna. She's not gonna bite him at all. Oh man, come on. I should have known that was coming right then. They had to end it right there. Ugh. I mean, I get he's trying to prove a point, but why are you stabbing her so much? She doesn't have the same healing that other demons have. It's gonna take her months to recover. It's just, I don't like that. Oh. So we gotta meet some of the Hashiras. It's kind of cool. They all have their own like specialty. There's like mist, the snake guy, stone, wind, butterfly. You know, Giyu is obviously water. That's just crazy though. That there's so many of them. They are all so different. I really like the flamboyant guy. <laughs> He's just like, make it flamboyant. And I'm like, I just really like him. And then the master comes out and just... He's what I've been looking for. Someone that is respected. Everyone respects him and his decisions. And I'm sure he's powerful too. And he just comes in and like, it's like, hey, she might be a demon, but she hasn't eaten anyone in over two years. And Tanjiro, your Okadaki, uh, Tamioka, Giyu, they'll all commit seppuku if she ends up eating someone. Which, if you're not familiar with Japanese culture or like samurai culture, you and you die. You stab yourself, do a little, you know, side to side, and you die. It's what you do to like. Basically, it's like an honor thing. Um, if you like feel like you've dishonored your family, or if you feel like you're gonna bring dishonor to your family, a lot of times that's what they would do. Rather than get, getting taken prisoner, they commit seppuku, and it's. It was viewed as better. Um, just like a, a sense of pride thing. But that just is really cool because now you get to see Giyu is like full in with her. Like he's saying, I will end my life if she does anything to harm a human. And that's just getting that seal of approval from two, from a former Hashira, from a current Hashira. And then Tanjiro, that's just a big, big boost for Nezuko's case. And I'm glad that the Master was able to see it from that perspective, and he was able to, um, you know, give them the chance that they need. And it's, it was really surprising to me also that none of the Shiras had ever even crossed path, 
crossed the path of Muzan. It makes you wonder, like, obviously he's able to create demons. He's super powerful. It makes you wonder what he's doing to stay away from them, how he's keeping tabs on these people. Muzan has to just be crazy smart and crazy powerful. He probably has a lot of people working around him. I'm sure, like, some of the top 12 demon moons are, like, and location-wise, they're probably pretty close to Muzan, I'd imagine. So, you know, it's probably crazy. Like, if you get too close to them, it's probably crazy. No one is really on the side of Nezuko getting to live. Um, everyone objected to it, besides, like, the people that we already knew were going to agree with it, like Giyu and Tanjiro and Yuro Kodaki. But one thing that I thought was interesting is Shinobu, the butterfly demon slayer, she refrain from speaking when everyone was giving their opposing sentiment towards Nezuko being kept alive. It showed Shinobu and she just uh, was looking at the ground. She wasn't even, she didn't say anything. So it makes me wonder like maybe she realized something and is okay or more okay with Nezuko. She's probably not fully sold on it, but maybe she's more okay with it now. That's just what I, I think from watching that one scene so now the wind Hashira, he is testing Nezuko to see if she'll bite him. She's not gonna. Like, you know my girl Nezuko would not bite anyone. And so uh, I just want to get into the next episode. This is gonna be crazy. I can't wait to see what happens. But yeah. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you do, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.